What is up, y'all? We are starting this year off with a bang. Happy New Year's to you guys, by the way. Let's make this the year of the PBs. We are out here in the trenches. I'm sure you saw from the title and thumbnail, we're going to be bringing it back to an OG budget fishing challenge. Season 2, V2, whatever you want to call it, this is the third video in the remastered budget fishing challenge series. We are going to be going in here to Walmart in 2021 with a budget of $50. And with that $50, we have to buy a rod, reel, line, lures, everything that hopefully helps us catch some fish today. Now, it's a Delaware January. It's icy brick outside. This is just going to be realistic, man. Going in there, getting the gear, and seeing, you know, if we actually can catch fish this time of year. While also seeing what is in here, if there's any good deals, if this stuff is even worth buying when we test it out. Last time we did this budget fishing challenge at Walmart was June of 2017. As I said, right now, it's the beginning of January 2021. It's going to be interesting to see what's in here because Walmart's kind of got, like, destroyed last year from the whole everything going on. <laughs> Inventory for fishing was on life alert. Like, they did really not have much stuff here at all at some point. So it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe they recovered. Maybe they don't have that much fishing stuff in january i think it's going to be cooler to go back to that 2017 one and kind of compare the fishing sections and everything like that all right though man let me stop talking let's get in here if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button also if you enjoy the videos make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so youtube actually like lets you know when i put out a new video it is freaking crowded dude all right 2021 let's find some gear and let's see in these wintery conditions if we can catch some fish Walmart is popping. They already got the Valentine's Day stuff out. Kelsey and I have been talking about the possibility of getting some bikes for the adventure we're going to be going on. These are like some nice rides right here. We'll be styling with that. Imagine pulling up the bass tournament. Definitely got to make sure we got the training wheels on deck. If uh, you guys haven't watched the last video, it's very, very important to my life and the channel. So definitely check that out. If you have no clue what the adventure I'm talking about. I feel like bike section is looking a little weak here. If you guys have any recommendations though, as far as like bicycles go, like I don't know what a good bike is. This is the one right here. Oh, dude. No, this is this is the one. Don't even have to pedal. As you can imagine, there's just so much stuff we have to get and so much stuff we have to do for the camper. We actually put it in storage uh, yesterday. It's gonna be there for like a week or two. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot to do. Ooh, walking stick, fishing challenge. Sucking every body of water in the US challenge. So one time, a couple months ago, I posted this. It looks pretty freaking good. A lot of you guys were like telling me it's like one of the best things you ever ate. Some of you guys were like, that's the worst thing I ever ate. So I don't know if I was getting trolled. Let me know in the comments below. Should I buy this? Should I try this? Checking out the bait freezer. It looks like we have some red worms, green worms, uh, 18 night crawlers are probably the juicy fat ones. They actually have blood worms. And then I have no, like, what is going on here, my guy? I don't remember my Walmarts ever having blood worms, so that's pretty cool. One fun fact is actually the last couple of times I filmed at Walmart, I went to a different Walmart. So I have no clue what this fishing session is going to be like. I keep getting distracted, but I do. I got one of these things. It's not the same. It's not a, a buggle, buggle, buggle. Buggables? Buggables. So this is a citronella scent, easy to use, size fits most. I think this is supposed to like protect you from mosquitoes. I got one of these out of a uh, fishing tackle vending machine a couple months ago. I never got to try it out. Have you guys ever used anything like this? <laughs> All right, let's see what this fishing session is looking like oh everything is looking pretty stocked here we got all the baits we got the saltwater stuff the reels i mean they actually have look at this there's only like a few holes in the reel wall we have all the terminal tackle seems to be here like in the summer they were running low this is like all big hole where all the hooks and everything are and yeah i mean line bobbers they have pretty much everything in stock all these rods up here we got all these combos on this side we got all this random combos and even more combos tackle boxes pliers shades sand spikes freaking net i want to see real quick if they have a fishing clearance section i feel like sometimes they do sometimes they do not what is that that looks like steak and cartoon hot squid that's nice yeah i don't know again we have giant old should i just buy this 15 dollars should i just buy like three of these look at that freaking lip on that thing dude so uh yeah pretty much this is like the whole saltwater e ish kind of section they have some new stuff like i've never seen these hurricane salt tackle lures here there's just a couple other things but we're gonna go over this way big old box of rooster tails what is this rooster tail all-star pack all the different colors how much is that 15 dollars okay they got the bumblebee still here dude i'm telling you guys you never tried this lord it's kind of like the uh cricket from rebel i was having freaking luck with that thing that thing's sick dude. tiny little baby rattle traps look at the size of that little dude smaller baits like that might just work better this time of year Jeez, somebody busted this box open but yeah, pretty much, I mean, everything you'd expect here. They have a really good selection of these gulp minnows, which I haven't really used in a while. But this is like one of my favorite baits of all time. I don't know why I don't really use them. All right, so uh, yeah, again, we have $50. I think the hardest part is going to be finding a rod and reel that 
has line on it. I don't want to buy line separate, really. Last Walmart fishing challenge, if you guys haven't seen it. We got one of these. It was either Frozen or Moana. I, don't, I can't remember. I think it was Frozen, right? That thing literally exploded. It was, it, yeah. I don't think we're going to be getting any of these today, but shout out to Kylo Ren. Under $10, we got some Zebco spinning rods, some spin casts, cheaper spin casts right there. We got some South Bend ready to fish combos. We kind of used all this stuff sort of in the past. This is pretty interesting, though. Customize it. I guess you put, like, it comes with stickers on it i guess more spin cast more spin cast they also have another customize it this one's 40 dollars but it's like a spinning rod one i guess it has stickers and stuff they got the dock demon on deck we've had some fun with this in the past we had the spinning one though 988 for that we also i don't know how much this is but this is like a little pocket eagle claw combo that's pretty cool saltwater rod section looks like these are 17 going all the way up to 70. we got some of these behemoths imagine taking that to a pond, do a little fishing. Ozark Trail, the Walmart brand. This is interesting. This is their inshore combo. Test that out on some stripers, fond or something. How much was this? I don't even see a thing. I don't know. This is something I really haven't heard of before. Matt Matsuo? Matsuo? I don't know. I guess this is just his own brand. Matsuo. And for 20 bucks. Do they have other? Which one is this? This is, feels like medium action. Oh, a two piece. Medium action. Yeah, six foot. All right, this is a contender. I'm just curious because I've never heard of that brand before. Look how tiny this little spin cast is right here. 1984 for the mini thing combo. Extreme bendiness. That'd be fun to catch some panfish on. Okay, so we've narrowed it down between two. This is something very weird. I don't know if it's just like a marketing thing, but look at this. This is $19.84 for a trait built for women. You see we got a nice lady smiling right there. This is a five foot spin cast combo. And it says it's like designed for women. Ergonomically designed for women. Combo and tackle designed for ease of use. Starter kit to get you fishing quickly. So we got bobbers, some weights, some hooks. This is how they're advertising it. It has a smaller grip, uh, it's lightweight, and it casts easier and it's like a spin cast not really sure about that marketing strat if i was a woman i feel like i'd be triggered at that why can't they just use the same rods and reels i don't know how i feel about that honestly i think what we're going to be going with is this matsuo right here because first of all oh hello this is a spinning rod and i don't really feel like dealing with that spin cast even though it cast easier and farther this was what is it 1984 no sales tax shop delaware and uh this already comes with line on it so we have like a lot of more budget probably could have downsized the budget a little bit on this walmart one let's take a look here at uh some of the base okay first of all i definitely think i want to get some minnows do they have jig heads though because i don't think i have hmm what i'd like to do is stick to like the smaller style of baits maybe actually get some bigger crank baits maybe like, this is pretty sick here a little yellow perch action all right i think we're gonna stick kind of with a few smaller things this is a two inch Storm shed. This is like three dollars thirty cents. We're gonna get you know, these dudes. I was eyeing this up. Super tanky R. One ninety six pack of these dudes. Dude, one dollar twenty two cents. Look how tiny this little crankbait is. Two inches. I'm liking these for science, dude. Oh, oh geez. Look at this rattle trap. They got another pretty cool one here too. Look at that. Like a rainbowish. Think Oz uh, three inch. I think we're gonna go with this one, dude. Sick little gold color. All right, so that took a while. I think also I found some jig heads. So I think we're gonna pick up uh, these two and a half inch gulp minnows, 487. So this is pretty much all we're getting. We got the Matsuo combo, gulp minnows, wild trap, curly tails, this little rebel dude, uh, storm shad, little spoiler shads, and then uh, yeah, we got 116th out ball head jig. I spent way too much freaking time in this aisle. I mean, how could I not? You know, I love tackle shopping. We're gonna get out of here, pay for the stuff, get to the water, and try to catch our first fish of the year, actually. 2021, start off with a bang. I'm not gonna lie, dude, I'm off my game a little bit. I actually scanned the one thing twice, lady, to come over. She also thought I was like jacking the rod. She's like, can I see your receipt? Coming in at a total of $44.45. Shout out again, Delaware, for no sales tax. And shout out to Delaware because like, we're not using plastic bags here anymore. It's pretty interesting to have like these, uh, I guess biodegradable kind of plasticky thing. Matsuo, it is time. All right, y'all, we made it to the first fishing spot. We just came to a spot that's kind of near the Walmart. I kind of anticipate we're going to be doing a little bit of pond hopping here today. I don't know how good the bite's going to be. Yeah, I'm going to try to. That was a nice guy. I have a lot to talk about, though. If you guys have been watching the channel, probably for most of like 2020, I've been using loose rods and reels. If you guys can see, like, look at this right there. 
That thing is freaking beautiful. Y'all have seen me use the mock crush a lot. There'll be a video coming out about all this gear and everything. Y'all have been with me for like every rod and reel that I got. So I know I got some explaining to do. But yeah, so this body of water right here might look a little bit familiar. This is where we came a couple videos ago and we were catching some big old carp. If you guys have not seen that video, definitely go check it out. Literally real life Pokemon is freaking insane. I want to do some more carp fishing. But along with carp, there are some pretty decent sized bass. So we're going to throw some stuff around here. And yeah, if nothing's happening, we'll move spots. I don't care what it is. I don't care how big it is just in the middle of winter i just i want to catch something so a little bit ago i bought another pair of pliers because i don't know where my pliers keep going and uh i lost those so yet again nail clipper gang this is always the fun part I'm trying to get this plastic off i have no clue actually i don't think it said what pound monofilament this is probably like six maybe eight not a bad sounding drag i, I can mess with that all right so uh, yeah we got a lot of stuff man i honestly think what we're gonna try first out here it's a little rattle trap. It's a nice overcast day. Very shiny. I like that. Look at that. We can even see ourselves. It's hot, eh? Ooh, this is the beginning. So this is the time of year um, where these bass are not going to be very active. If I had to guess, I mean, hold on. Let me fill this water here. Oh my. It's not warm. <laughs> not in Florida. Yet. First cast out here. Watch. First fish of the year. First cast. Kind of has a interesting sound while we're reeling in there other than that though i mean this, this is not too bad so far didn't explode on the first cast oh. not a big fan of that monofilament though i think that's what's making that noise cheap old mono basically what we're doing here we're trying to stir up a reaction strike if i had to guess this water temperature is somewhere in the 40s and uh, when it gets this low basically these hello <laughs> people beeping but yeah basically when it gets cold i mean this is frozen not that long ago. Not like frozen frozen, but just like a thin layer of ice. One that happens, these fish are just very lethargic. I mean, the last thing they really want to think about is eating. That's kind of what they did in the fall is like stock up for food for the winter. So kind of what we're doing with the rattle trap, just casting it around as much as we can. But yeah, we're trying to stir up a little reaction strike. I don't know why it's making that noise, dude. What I kind of like to do in the winter pop it up so it kind of flutters down a little bit make it look like a dying shad the wind's pushing over to this cove over here i mean before in this body of water i've caught some fish right around where i'm casting i think it gets a little bit deeper right here these fish tend to hang out like right around there we'll see man definitely bouncing my tip i'm curious though let me know down in the comments below out of all that gear we saw in walmart what would you have bought to go fishing in delaware on this nice hot steamy delaware day this is kind of interesting we have a gift looks like it was placed here this is like what do you even what do you call that definitely has been used i wonder if they're catching anything with that it's like a squid i don't even know it's like a tube oh that is interesting i'll put that right back where i found it if that thing is yours man let me know if you're catching anything on that oh boy that is some thorns ow freaking ow dude ow 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 come on fish now another color i would really like use i don't know why i got the gold it was just shiny normally around this time of year i think my go-to would be some kind of red or orangey red-ish color Ugh, this is shiny though ow yo i'm not even joking man I, I gotta show you guys these thorns can you see that right there there's some giant ones look at these freaking ow dude as i said though man this is kind of just like realistic fishing in delaware in you know, mid-January or beginning of January, I guess. I mean, right now, I think real feel is 34, something like that. It's like 40 degrees, I think, and maybe like 39-ish. Not always happening out here. Sometimes when it's not happening, you gotta make it happen. All right, y'all, pond number two. This is a pond that I found out about this year, and I've only fished it, like, in the warmer months. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. The wind's kind of blowing this way. I think I'm going to switch the bait. We might go back to that route shot. Probably will go back. But, yeah, this pond right here is, could potentially hold our first fish of 2021. Ugh. Jeez, what the? Is it freaking thorn season, dude? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. <laughs> ow! Mother Nature is out here to attack me. All right, so, ow! Ow, I just had one smack me in the face. All right, so I forgot. This is a place that I used to hit when I had waders on. Once again, uh, very prepared as always. Looks like we got some like oil on the water here. Oh my gosh. Yo, this looks freaking good, dude. Can you guys see that twisting tail action?
All right, so here's the update. We got the little curly twister, bigger twister tail thingy on here. So we drove uh, to a couple of different spots. I don't know what number spot this is, but uh, yeah, I kind of went around, fished this one pretty freaking hard. My hands are about to fall off. We're gonna do one more lap around this place, see if there's any life anywhere. A few things to note, right? So this cheap old monofilament, I have been having such a struggle with the lighter lures. It just keeps like spinning them in the water. So we're gonna be putting this little dude on. This dude's got a lip. We are at a brand new spot yet again. Oh my gosh, a little tiny pond. We have a little tiny bait. Basically, uh, fishing here, the thought process is, I mean, this small pond, this fish has to be somewhere here. Oh gosh, it's all tangled. Maybe we have a better chance of putting it right in front of their freaking face, right? So we fished all day yesterday, literally till the sun set, and uh, yeah. 2021 started off a little slow here, but it is all good. I just want to catch one fish today. That's the goal. The bar is like here. I mean, we could catch a bunch more fish. I don't know. As I always say in my videos, you never know what is going to happen in a first date fishing video. We catch a freaking red Gyarados, or we could just snag like rocks all day. Came back to spot number three yesterday. We hit like four spots yesterday. I think uh, this one is still going to be my best bet. There's so many different species here. Come on, man. Go down there, hit that like button for good luck. Let's get a freaking fish on the board these Delaware winners man are no joke all right this spot should look familiar so basically yesterday we used a bunch of different stuff right we're gonna start out with this this is just one of them gulp alive minnows I pretty much went through all the baits it's just tough with this monofilament man I'm gonna work this thing pretty freaking slow but with this monofilament basically oh that wind is chilly yeah basically with these smaller lures I don't know if you can see that it just spins when it comes up like this mono is getting like all tangled and the baits are kind of like the, the twister tails were kind of like going all over the place. This thing just kind of bounced a little bit more precisely. See so yeah, if anything's in here, let's bite this. I mean, there's crappy, perch, bass, pickerel. Especially, I mean, right under the spillway. I'm very surprised that literally have not had anything even look at us. Maybe it's looking, maybe they're just like, eh. Is that a bite? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh. Dude, can we just take a second and appreciate <laughs> this freaking bluegill, dude? Oh, oh my gosh, dude. All right, so, <laughs> first fish of 2021. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. It has been such a struggle. Why is that so hard? I'm surprised a bluegill bit this, but I mean, I'm not at the same time. Whew. All right. Oh, yeah, man, I'm not mad about that. Bluegill are the OGs, super underrated fish. I mean, people ice fish for them, and for some reason when people ice fish, they love them. They're just like open water bluegill, we gotta respect them a little bit more, you know? As I said before, they're the fish that, you know, got a lot of us into fishing. This line just loves to get tangled on and stuff. Honestly, I think I would really like this combo if uh, I just switched out. Like, I was debating on switching it to fluorocarbon today, or just like some not this monofilament. Maybe we could get a few more of those, but my freaking fingers are ready. Like yesterday when I got home after fishing, I need to start wearing my gloves and more layers too because my freaking hands were like actually physically hurting. And I don't think that's good. <sighs> All right, y'all. Mission kind of success, I don't freaking know. Like, it's nice to catch that lone gill, especially after like all day fishing yesterday. Like, just to catch any kind of fish, especially the first fish of the year, that's a good feeling. It's just like, I cannot wait. I know it's coming up soon, but I just cannot wait to get to some warmer weather where you know catching fish is actually a thing. Delaware is just like in a weird spot. If I went up more north, we could do some ice fishing. If I went down south, uh, you know, bass fishing and just everything would be a little bit better, a lot bit better. It's coming soon. We got the truck, we got the camper, everything's rolling but it's just like, it cannot come soon enough. I could be, and I'm gonna be making so much more videos, so much better fish catching in the videos. I'm excited, man, I'm so ready for it. But we gotta finish off this last little Delaware segment very strong, we got a couple weeks. I got a plan though, just stay tuned. Things are gonna get pretty cool. As always, though, thank you guys so much again for all the support. Thank you for watching this video. Winners from the last video are in the description down below. Don't forget to check that if you entered the last video. Again, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you for understanding this Delaware fishing realistic stuff. If you live in Delaware, man, let me know if you guys have had any luck. All I gotta say, though, let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where